let's walk through the student view of Seesaw. When you are in the student view, you have three main options and one optional area. You have the journal, you have activities your teacher sends you, you have the inbox where your teacher will send you messages and your parents and families can send you messages. And then if your teacher has activated the blog, you can have the blog. Where you will find all work that you need to do for your teacher, it is the activities light bulb section. Click there and you will have some choices you will see things that you need to do, things that are in progress, things that are done, and you can look at this in a calendar view. So let's quickly look at the calendar view. If you don't just look at all of the things that are on the side right here, you can click on the calendar and it will show you when things have been sent to you to work on. So maybe yesterday you remember your teacher sending something to you. You could click on the day before and it will show you what your teacher sent on that day. Maybe it's something you started, but you didn't finish. This is a great spot in case you have many things over the week to focus on. You can go back on a day maybe you were sick or you could go back to a day you know you didn't complete all your activities. The calendar can be a nice way of looking at your activities that you need to do. The to-do section is where all of the fresh new activities from your teacher are. And you can click here and find what your teacher wants you to do. So if you click here, you will see that my teacher has sent me a learning seesaw activity. And I am going to click the green add response button to open that. When I click there, I will come into my activity. Now, maybe I didn't listen to the directions. So I can click up at the top and view the instructions. Now, my teacher has given me Word instructions, but my teacher also recorded instructions as well. And that's another option for you, if it's available, to listen to what your teacher would like you to do. To get rid of this, you just click the X again. If you forget during the time while you're working on the slides, you can go ahead and click on that again. As you go through on the side, you can click and navigate through the activities. You can scroll or click to go through the side activities depending on which slide you're working on. This is an activity to teach you all about the different tools that are in Seesaw to make your learning fantastic. Now, say I do a couple of these slides, but I'm not done. I'm going to have to go back later. I save this by clicking on the orange check mark and it has the word draft on it. Draft means I'm not done, I'm still working. If I click the draft button, it saves all the work that I've done, but I can go back and finish. Now, if I go back to the activities section, you're gonna notice that I have an orange button instead of a green button and it says finish response. If I want to look at all of those, I can look at in progress. In progress is anything that I have started, but I have not finished. So if I click on in progress, I can scroll and see that I have two different activities that I am still working on. All I do to open these up is click on the orange finish response button, and I can go back in and I can finish it. Sometimes when I do this, I can actually notice that I was done, but my teacher said I may have missed something and sent it back. Here, I was not done, and I'm going to go back and finish it. So if you ever notice that it says done here, but it has shown up again with a, a request for finishing it, that means your teacher saw something you missed or made a mistake on, and you need to fix it. When you have finished it and your teacher says, yes, I agree, you are done, 
done, you'll notice it'll be in this section. Now that first one again is done, but my teacher sent it back. But here, this one is done. This one is done. And this one is done. All of these are done, but here's really a cool piece. Maybe your teacher missed that you missed something, or maybe you've decided you wanna do a better job. You can see right here where it says respond again. Respond again will let you open it up. I'm gonna scroll back up a little bit. Respond again. Even though my teacher agreed, yep, I'm done, I can still open up any activity. I can click respond again, and I can go right back in to where I was, and I can finish it, click the green check mark, and now my teacher can look at it again, and my teacher can tell me yes or hmm, maybe no, I've got to do it again. This is a really great place for you to learn about your work. You have to do activities you've never done, not opened them yet, in progress, you're working on it, but you're not quite done, or your teacher sent it back because it needs to have something fixed, and then done. But done is never completely done. Done can mean that you still have a choice to go back and do something a little bit better if you want to, or to do it over again and try for a better grade. That's up to you. Okay. This is the interface to show you how activities work in Seesaw.